come in and uh, give you some indications, but first of all, we will need to finish the exam. My name is Good Dr. Goodman, and we're going to do a questionnaire now and ask you and see how you're doing, how your health is. We're going to do it remotely with new technologies. I can see from the early sense system that you're lying on with the receptors. We've decided after the past few weeks with our experience with COVID-19 to uh, um, have a place where we could uh, test out the new devices. There's been so much new technology going on in the past few weeks. Uh, we thought we need a place where we could test it out. We have the staff come in and they can train on, this, uh, on these uh, technologies. We know that adoption of new technology is critical. It's not just about having the right technology, but also how can you adapt it to the real uh, uh, scenario life. And this is what we're doing in this room. Four different spots on your chest. So we will start with the first spot. Okay, now to the third spot. Great, we finished with that. Okay. Go on to the third one. It's a little bit worsening and that you have more breathing problems. So I would like to let you know to let you know that we are considering of transferring you to the intensive care unit so that you can get the suitable treatment for your condition. Okay, so I'm going to get dressed and I'm shortly going to be with you inside. We're trying to envision and to predict how would healthcare be provided 10 years down the road. We have lots of uh, uh, directions and trends that we can already identify. We've been identifying them for quite some time. Um, and we don't want to be passive uh, responders to new technologies, but rather lead those technologies uh, to, to where they need to be in order to serve us and, most importantly, patients. <laughs> So it's a combination of reality and virtual uh, environment. I view that, uh, that machine, I need guidance. So I need guidance from far away. That guidance is real time because the expert in that ventilator sits wherever. Uh, he or she would see exactly what I see from the lens. Uh, and he or she could guide me directly to the right knob and to the right uh, parameter uh, and teach me from far away. So it's distant instruction via augmented reality uh, devices. What we're going to need to do is we're going to need to sedate you and to ventilate you to in order to help you to breathe. We need to um, uh, ventilate you. So in order to ventilate you, we need to, what we need to do now is we need to ventilate you. And in order to ventilate you, we need to... If we work together in this environment, I have no doubt that this vision of technology and human beings uh, in the healthcare environment specifically, will be a much more beneficial uh, to, to society at large uh, on the healthcare front. I'll see you later.